open box video or a video of the unboxing of my brand new holster from Optics Planet. Optics Planet, you're welcome for that sweet, sweet plug. And I know dozens and dozens of people will watch this so you'll get much more business. You can pay me if you want. It's okay. Anyway, just got this. Um, it's a new holster from my SIG P320 Max. And it came the same day. Gun and holster showed up the same day, so super stoked. Wanted to do the video, get it out of the way, so I can start playing with it. Comes wrapped in this stuff, and here it is. And they want to know what I think, evidently. I can do that QR code and go to the website and tell them what I think about this purchase. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But here it is. It's a Black Scorpion Gear Competition Holster. Ooh, yeah. And look, it's got like a... Looks like it's got a bag that reseals. Which is what you want for baloney. <laughs> for your Oscar Mayer baloney or beef jerky. And it turns out you want that for your Scorpion holster. Look at that thing. It's pretty cool, right? It's got that carbon fiber look. It's got adjustable retention, right? So you adjust these guys in and out. and It'll make it harder or easier to pull the, the, the gun in and out of there. I know it fits um, one and a half or one and three quarter inch belts. And I think you have to take that little piece out to, to, to put it on your one and three quarter inch belt. It's got a, a pad to space it off your leg. It's got adjustable rotation so you can set the cant and the height a little bit. A little bit of height adjustment, a lot of cant adjustment so that when you put it on your hip, you can rotate it either way up or down. And let's see how the gun fits on it really quick. Got my brand new P320 Max. It's clear. Let's see how it fits. First time in. What? Fits like a glove. Looks good. Da, 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 da. I dig it so far. I'm going to put it on my belt. Do a couple of draws from it. And um, that'll be it. I just want you to see me unboxing it and I'll show you how it works a little bit later. Thanks for checking it out. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm getting ready to install this Black Scorpion competition holster onto my inch and three quarter wide belt. There was three screws in the package that came installed in here. I took them out with this two and a half millimeter hex head or Allen wrench. Once I took them out, turned it over, and I saw that this little feature here is in place. It's a, it's a reducer, right? So it reduces this open space for a belt from inch and three quarters to inch and a half. So since I got the inch and three quarters, toss that thing, and then looking at where the, it goes on the belt, mine sits right about there, judging by where I had my old one installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up, clamp it on there, I'll install those screws, and then I'll show you how it all fits together in a minute. Okay, so I've got it on there. Got it positioned right forward and aft, right place on the belt, but I want it I think I want it canted forward a little bit, so I'm going to adjust that a little. Okay, so on the back of this holster, to adjust the cant, you have to take out the four screws that secure this guy, and the two screws that secure the block. And you have access to these two screws, which adjust the cant. So, I'm going to loosen these screws up, adjust the cant, reinstall the block, and at this time I can adjust the height if I wanted to. I can use the separate sets of holes to go lower or higher. I think I'm going to probably put it right back where it was, which is right about here. So, let me get that dressed up and see how it looks. So, an important point to note is this screw has to come all the way out. It's got these little serrations that fit the head, so you can't just loosen that up and rotate it. It's, it's a positive lock. So, that screw comes all the way back out. The nut on the inside is going to fall out. You're going to have to rotate it where you want it and put the nut and the screw back in and tighten everything back up. All right, quick safety tip. Don't shoot yourself in the leg. Practice safety. And here's one thing you can work on. When you're practicing with your holster, you draw it out, you do whatever you're gonna do, target acquisition, whatever you had in mind. When you go to put it back in, put it in an angle away from you. Practice that over and over. An angle away from you. Not an angle towards you. It's an easy habit to pick up um, it's best to start doing it the right way. So if you're like me and you're new to holsters, whenever you do your dry frame, whenever you're practicing, 
Practice pointing the gun away from yourself when you're holstering it. All right. Safety tube. Final thoughts. I've got it on my on my two part competition belt. It's an inch and three quarter belt. Got Velcro inside. It's on here secure. I can jump around. I got it set up fairly tight. I tighten the screws up to where the pistol had a little bit of resistance coming out because I just don't want it falling out. And overall, I say I like it. Um, at first, my thumb was hitting here, but there's so much adjustability to the holster. I was able to to move the holster up in relation to that bracket. And now when I grab it, my thumb clears that, so I'm happy with that. Another first, um, my first thinking I didn't care that much for it was that I didn't have the little flares right here, little flares to, to get the gun back in easily. It didn't funnel it in. Like I'd seen that feature on some other holsters and I was like, wow, I wish I had that. But now I realize that um, with this holster, instead of coming in this way, I can funnel it in that way. So it's got a taper to it. And it's Got a little taper to it, so it kind of follows back in that way pretty easy. Um, so I'm pretty happy. I can get it back in pretty easily. I'll practice a little more, and it'll be really, um, really a nice setup. So all in all, I'm really happy with the holster. I would recommend it to anybody due to its adjustability, its affordability, and rigidity once you get it on a good belt. So two thumbs up. everything.